Okay, the parts of a pedal steel guitar. It doesn't have much in common with a guitar, but you do have tuning pegs and you have strings. Uh, you have 10 of them, not six. So here we have the tuning pegs. This is the nut, and you can see these little rollers here. They allow the string to uh, raise or lower without, uh, without being blocked or, or, or uh, cramped and uh, without uh, catching and, uh, and not releasing properly. This is the neck. The frets are painted on purely for reference. Uh, you, you are the fret with the tone bar that you're going to be using. This is the tone bar. It's uh, 8 to 10 ounce stainless steel or, or uh, uh, plated uh, uh, metal. And this is what you use to slide along the neck to get the pedal steel guitar sound. Over here we have the pickup. This is what makes it an electric instrument. This is basically the microphone for what you're playing. This is the bridge, but in addition to being the place where the strings are anchored, it's also the place where the action happens in terms of transferring the energy you're applying to the pedals or knee levers uh, and having their effect on the strings. If you can see, these are each individual rollers and the action of the pedals causes them to either uh, slacken or, or tighten the tension on uh, individual strings, combinations of strings. Uh, that's what uh, allows you to have uh, a sound uh, like this, where you start with, uh, one o with an open chord and a couple of the notes in that chord will be raised and suddenly it becomes a whole other chord. The pedals down here, uh, in this particular uh, uh, style of guitar, this is the E9 chromatic tuning, so it has only one neck, and these pedals all raise strings. Under here we have knee levers, they raise or lower strings depending on their role. This is the volume pedal over here, and as the name indicates, it simply gives you more or less volume. There is also a uh, set of, uh, of uh, hex nuts here that is the ch uh, allows you to tune what the pedals do. Uh, you tune the strings the way you would with a guitar, but then you also need to tune the pedals to make sure you know exactly what degree of, of change you're gonna get. And these are preset things, you don't have to fish around for it. If your guitar is in tune and you press down on the pedals firmly, you should always be getting an in tune change of, uh, of notes. And that's it for the parts of the pedal steel guitar.